What's going on YouTube and in today's video I'm going to teach you exactly how I pass the EJPT by eLearn Security. Let's get into the video. So what is the EJPT exam? So the EJPT exam is the eLearn Security Junior Penetration Tester exam made by the company eLearn Security. I would highly recommend that anybody looking to take the certification has a good understanding of two things. One of them being networking and the other one being um, Kali Linux in particular. You're gonna need these tools to navigate and uh, exploit um, the systems that they want you to exploit in their lab. So your primary method for studying for this exam is going to be going into eLearn Security and you're going to want to go into their study modules where you can take a course that is determined and built for the EJPT. It's called Pen Tester Student. Now they changed their pay scale a little bit it used to be that you were able to just buy the voucher and you would get free access now it looks like when i was checking it that it there is a paywall so you're gonna have to get a subscription to um the study material which is fine you know what i mean um it's worth it and it's not that expensive so what you want to do is go through each of those modules those videos and there are labs defined um, in each tool that i'm about to share with you and you can learn the tool specifically and how they want you to learn it right inside of the modules um, so I'm going to also be pointing out some other tools and other methods for those that, you know, can't pay for this subscription for whatever reason. Um, and I just want to blanketly say this, that TriHack Me is always a good tool to use, um, for the majority of these tools. If you cannot, uh, pay for the subscription for some of the study material for this exam. So how is the exam set up? So you're pretty much going to be given 72 hours to gain access to a real life server. Um, this for me was awesome because I got to see exactly how it's going to be in the real life. Um, so you get hands on experience jumping right into this lab environment. So what they're going to do is give you a server um, and potentially websites or things like that. And they're going to have you answer some questions. Now you're not going to be able to answer these questions without a uh, solid understanding and application of the tools needed so that you can exploit and gain uh, usernames, passwords, things like that. So what are the tools? Well, that's what we're going to get into next. Let's get into the meat of the video, which is going to be talking about some of the tools that are needed to pass this exam and how to best utilize them. So the first tool that we're going to be getting into today is called Hydra. Hydra is a password cracking tool um, that will become very useful in the EJPT exam. And you will see that come up a few times and scenarios where um, it's probably going to be the best tool for you to gain that password that you're looking for. So you'll be able to carry out this command in Kali Linux. This is what you're going to need to get a good understanding of before you take this exam. You're going to open up a terminal in Kali Linux and you're going to do Hydra and then L for the username and then you're going to do dash capital P for the password. Now you don't have the password. That's the whole reason that we're using um, this uh, tool called Hydra. So what you're going to do is go into the file system of Linux and you're typically going to find a word list um, in this location. It's going to be user and then share and then word list. And then you'll find a file, a very commonly used password file called rockyou.txt. Now this is gonna be your command here that you're gonna to wanna to run to crack any type of passwords 
or um, even website, uh, login, passwords, anything of that nature. So just very quickly, uh, I just wanted to throw in there real quick. A lot of you guys have been asking, um, there's some, been some new things that are developing with this channel, uh, and I just wanna bring you guys into it so you know everything that's out there. Um, this past uh, week or so, I created a Discord. I'll be linking it down in the description where you'll be able to uh, go into Discord and talk with other like-minded cybersecurity uh, professionals or those that are endeavoring into beginning this career. Second, for those of you that are interested, I've created a merch shop uh, that'll also be down in the description linked where you guys can, you know, look around at some of the clothing to see uh, maybe there's something that you're interested in. I had a few folks reach out to me already, uh, so I just want to let you know that as well. Okay, guys, so we talked about Hydra. You're definitely going to see that on the exam, so make sure you really understand that one. The next big uh, tool that I had to use a lot was a tool called Burp Suite. Now, Burp Suite is a kind of man in the middle between you and a browser that you can uh, capture some of the data that is being transferred back and forth from the client and the server. It's a very awesome tool, very useful tool, and I'm going to show you a little bit how it works. So let's give you a little bit of a visual demonstration with exactly Burp Suite is doing and how it's working. So you are going to be the client user here. Now, when you talk to the internet, you're talking to a server. The server will host uh, some kind of web application. Okay. Now, communication is being derived from the client to the server and then back to the client. So how Burp Sweep works, essentially, is it jumps in the middle here and it starts listening and it says what are you telling this client and i'm going to intercept that and display it in here and that's when you can really start digging in and finding a lot of plain text that's being used uh if anything is going through http which is something you will see on the exam uh, you're going to have plain text inside of Burp Suite, and it's going to give you a lot of hints and tools. Um, Burp Suite is an amazing tool, and I recommend going on uh, tryhackme.com. And, and tryhackme, if I can spell, .com, you're going to get uh, a module that is simply called Burp Suite. Check it out. Um, it'll help you tremendously, and it's a huge part of this exam. So uh, get to knowing it. So the next tool that you're really going to want to know is called Nmap. Nmap is a tool that is widely used in the cybersecurity community, um, even past uh, any type of hacking. Nmap is going to scan uh, networks for you and show you all types of um, uh, ports that are open. It can show you OSs that these devices are running on. Uh, and there's just a wide range of uh, features that this tool can provide to a professional. Uh, that being said, I'm going to show you the basics, uh, what I needed specifically for this exam and what I used for this exam. Um, there are tools out there, like I said previously in the video, the uh, study guide that uh, eLearn Security will give you, and also the um, other uh, web tools like TryHackMe, um, for instance. So let's get into it. Let me show you some of the basic commands so you have a better understanding of how it works. So Nmap, very useful tool. Let's go into a basic command of what Nmap can do. Um, let's say you have a host here that you want to uh, see what ports are open. Are these ports vulnerable? Uh, what OS is this device running on? What you're gonna do is going to do this command inside of the terminal. You'll do an Nmap and then you'll do a dash S capital V. That's going to be a show version. It's going to show you not only the ports that are open, but what version of uh, software is running on those ports. It's pretty amazing. So let's go into the uh, next parameter that I used a lot during this exam. It's going to be a dash O. The dash O is going to be 
to show the OS version. So this is going to be very helpful in learning is the device a uh, Linux device or is it a Windows device. So after this, you need to simply put your target. So if you're looking for one target, you know, just do this. Hit enter and it will pull up your version and your OS if it can detect it and it will show you all the ports and what is open and what is closed. Now, if you want it to do an entire network, you'd simply do the net this command the exact same except you want to do a slash and then whatever the CIDR notation is for that network. This next one, I've already covered in one of my videos. So I'm gonna link it up in the corner of this video and you will be able to click into it and go into um, that video where I explain some of the commands and tools that I used with the next tool that you're gonna need for uh, the EJPT exam. And that's gonna be Metasploit. Metasploit is an amazing tool for gaining access to uh, symptom uh, systems through back doors and I uh, using exploits to carry out on these machines to gain access to them and create back doors so I'm not gonna go deep into that one like I said I'm gonna link it in the video um, and you'll be able to go over to that video and look at some of the tools that I used and what I used is very similar to what you'll be seeing um, so get a good understanding of some of the tools and how they work now we learned nmap right so when you perform an nmap scam on a host and those ports that i was telling you about start popping up and you notice that one of them is using a uh, smb port which is a server message block which is how windows devices communicate uh, back and forth through each other and also share files so if you see something like that, you'll be able to use our next tool, which is coming up now. It's gonna be the SMB client. This is a great tool for file shares, which is definitely something I've seen on the exam and that I highly recommend you get a good understanding of. Let me briefly go into it and show you uh, some of the first steps that you're gonna make. Uh, if you notice that you have an MMAP scan with a popped port with SMB, let's get into it. All right, so you just ran MMAP. When you ran MMAP, you seen that port four, four, five, sorry, five was open. So now you say, hey, well, that's SMB. Now what do you do? Now we're gonna run this simple SMB client command and you're gonna do this inside of your terminal. It's just gonna be an easy SMB client. And then you're gonna do dash L and you're gonna initiate the target IP. So that could be 10, 0, 1, 8, for instance. Now that you've done that, now if you're connected to that SMB client, now you wanna um, connect to its shares, which is the files that you'll be able to gain access to. And of course, I'm gonna show you how to do that too. So we're gonna do a SMB client again. Now we're gonna do four backspaces. The target, so again, it's gonna be 10, zero, one, eight. And then we're gonna do the name of that share. Now you're gonna see the name of the share, obviously, when you run this command. It's gonna pop up and say, you know, Amy. And you'll just simply put that share into here. And then SMB client is going to do its magic and you'll have access to new files. So that's going to do it for this video, guys. Um, a few things that I do want to mention. Uh, you definitely want to, if you can, um, get the pen tester student modules that you can um, buy from through a subscription from eLearn Security. Uh, that's going to give you a very good outline of everything that you need to do. Uh, I used it the majority of the time. I took excellent notes and then I went back to other sites and forums where I could really double down into the knowledge. 
if you do those things, you will pass this exam. Uh, don't sweat it. Don't be so worked up about it. Uh, you do have three days to accomplish your task. So it's plenty of time. And I think a lot of you are going to find that um, it's more time than you might need. Uh, so it's important just to, you know, obviously... Uh, get a good breakfast in when you're starting. Don't overdo yourself, especially something like this with so much time given. Um, and you guys are going to do great on it. So uh, I hope the video helps you out. And as always, like, subscribe, notification bell down below. I appreciate you guys. And uh, comment down in this video. Let me know if there's anything else that I could help you with with uh, regards to this exam in particular. It's a fun exam. It looks great on your resume and I believe in you guys. You'll do good. I'll see you later. Catch you in the next video.